What's up guys? Welcome to Firewatch. We're gonna hit new game. Yes. Alright. Just recently down downloaded this game, so I figured we could play it and go from there. Hope you all are doing a fantastic Hope you are having a fantastic day. I hope you guys are doing fantastic yourselves. I am doing okay. Boulder, Colorado, 1975. Okay. see Julia. She's about your age, late 20s, laughing with the well-dressed professors and grad students from nearby CU Boulder. You, Henry, are out drinking with your pals. You approach her. You are drunk. So what's your... So what's your, you know, major? You're, you're pretty. Let's go with this one. You slitter the word major and it smells like coolers. You give an awkward smile. Evolutionary bio biology, she said, and I'm a professor. Cool, you reply. What's yours? She asks. She's, she sniffs the air. Toxicology? Was that a burn, you ask? She def She says, Definitely. Where did she hurt your feelings? She asked if you wanted to split a, split a cheeseburger. One week later, you are Julia's boyfriend. I'm gonna pick up this backpack here. There we go. I think there's anything else in here except for this. But I also want to see if there's anything else in here besides the truck. No, there's something else back here. Okay, let's gonna look. I just wanted to look to see if, you know. It's actually pretty cool. Okay, so there's nothing over here. There's nothing over there, over there. Oh, there's actually a door here. I didn't see that until now. Okay. And that's where we just came out of. So. In there. We're gonna get in the truck. Sweet. You date for over a year. She drives you absolutely nuts. It's great. You move in. You share an apartment near the school with a view of the mountains. You two drink beers out of the deck. You drink beer just as about anywhere. Life is good. Julia wants to get a dog. There's scruffy, undersized beagle. There's a scruffy, undersized beagle. Julia is in love. She wants to bring it with her to class. There's also an intimidating but gentle-eyed German Shepherd. Nothing bad could have happened to Julia while walking this dog. It's badass. I'm gonna Dr. Shepherd. Mayhem's an excellent dog. He loves wrestling with you in the park and goes with Julia on her runs. Even though he's too big to bring to school, Julia loves him all the same. Mayhem is a friend, child, and pet all rolled into one. I personally like Jeff Shepard, so. 1979. You talk out on the deck. It's summer, 9.30 p.m., and the heat still radiates off the high desert. What do you think about kids, she asks. Kids? Well, they're not very smart or good at much. I'm saying if you and I have some, a couple of little idiots, that would be pretty good. One day, why rush? That would be pretty good. In that case, we should probably get married. Yeah, I would like that, you say. These kids are going to be screwed up enough. It's probably best for the parents to get hitched. Or hitched. You say she's absolutely right. Nice. I love the scenery, dude. Like The scenery looks really, really well done. The birds look pretty good in the background. Um, I... Two Forks Region Review Theater Fair Trailhead. Do not forget to check in. Theater Fair Trail not recommended for any experienced hikers. Learn to live with bears, no fireworks. Okay, so I guess, uh, here we go. I guess we're going to the thick of it. To the woods we go. And pro story progress. Nice. 1980. 
It's a Thursday night, and Julia is four hours late. She has a call. You're worried and getting angry by the minute. She walks in after you've gone to bed. She's not quite drunk, but she's clearly been having a fun time. You fight when she gets between the sheets. You ignore her. You don't touch each other all night. The next day, you feel guilty for being so angry and ask about her eating. She says it was great. You hold on to a tiny pill of resentment. You make some coffee and go to work. 1981. Julia still likes to draw. She draws plants from her research. She draws all the places you go. She draws you. You pose and flex like He-Man. You frog like a Victoria's Secret model. Let's do that one. Now that to be funnier. Very nice. Alright. Looks like we hop down from that ledge apparently. Cool, cool. Let's keep going. Must be sunset or sunrise. I think sunset. The thing's very orange too. What did it say? Two forks lookout tower, eight more miles still. Whew. Uh climb. Hop over. There we go. Nice, nice, okay. Nineteen eighty two. During the summer you and Julia enjoy walking mayhem at night. There's a festival in town. It brings in folks from faraway places. One of them tries to mug you with a knife. Mayhem runs away. May me moo. Blank dog dog. Julia yells. She gets flustered and has trouble speaking when she's dressed. Confront the tiger. Yeah. You, your arm gets cut up as you beat the guy to pulp. You don't feel very tough. You you cry your eyes out before the car show. Julie asks to take a different path from that day forward. You say, okay. You don't want to go that way either. From then on, you walk by the river. 84. Plans to have a kid get waylaid by work. Julie gets offered a job at Yale. Yale is in Connecticut, 2,000 miles away. It's a great job. Associate department chair. She wants to move. You absolutely do not. Convince her not to take the job. You tell her that this means you to won't have a family. She said that's bullshit. She's totally right. She asks if her taking a job means you won't come with her. You say yes. Again, bullshit. She decides not to take it. 1985. Julia asked to leave Boulder on paid leave after having an episode. She lost it on college for borrowing and books that were important to her research. She didn't even remember. Sorry. She didn't remember she had, had loaned them just to him just two days prior. She was found crying in a stairwell. You make a macaroni drink. You say that maybe you guys should talk to someone about it. After seeing multiple doctors and having many tests, they are worried that Julia might be suffering from early onset dementia. She is 41. You both decide to keep it a secret for now. Aww. Oh, nice. Well, pick up the journal. That. That's cool. Mayhem is getting older. He's gotten silver hair down his back and slows down at night. You and Julia walk into the bar to see your friends and it feels like nothing has changed. Julia goes back to the university. 1987. Julia's affliction gets worse. She can't remember things in class. Her research is in shambles. She drives her car to the next town over for no particular reason and has to be brought home by the police. She is devastated. She is sent home on permanent medical leave. Some days you get the Julia who calls you a dope and your unborn child's little idiots. Other days you get a stranger. She pulls you into bed to make love. After five minutes she goes back, goes into a panic believing her dad is at the door. You tell her family, they're, you tell her family, they're crushed and begin to make trips to, to and from their home to destroy the visitor. For a while your friends come by with little things to brighten the day. She gets worse. 1988. You spend your days following Julia around the house. You count the seconds between the two weekly visits from Daniel and the nurse. He suggests that Julia could live in somewhere else, some, somewhere with 25-hour care at home, and sits with you for a couple months. You decide to move to a full-time child care facility. You're the time to take care of yourself. Let's do that, because we're going to need help, especially if it's just us and the dog.
Not bad. Like I said, the scenery is amazing in this game, y'all. Like, the scenery is so good in this. Like, it's pretty good. It's not bad. This is for an Xbox game. Is it deer? Almost deer right down there. Ah, sweet. Family agrees with your decision. You find a fantastic place in Boulder and move her there. And you see her every day. Then every other day. You go out to the bar with your old friends. It's not the same. You get the feeling that every wife tells her husband, If you ever put me in a home like Henry did, I will cut your balls off. You slowly decide not to see your old friends that much. Not really your friends that they're judging you. Julia's sister Susan moves, into, moves to Boulder to be close to her. She visits her every day. You go with her some of the time. Susan buys you an old typewriter and urges you to use it if you won't see a therapist. You won't. You've always really liked Susan. Months go by. Mayhem dies. Oh. Julie doesn't remember him when you tell her. Sometimes it takes her a minute to look walk in on you. In the back of your mind, you believe it's because you see her less and less. And seeing her less and less makes her forget you more. You think. Summer is coming and you see an ad in the paper for a job. You take it. Nice. And they're the lookout tower. Got it. So I've only played a little bit of this before making a new gameplay. As you've seen, you've seen, seen where it said continue. I've played this a little bit, but not like in depth really that good or anything. This is the part where he gets to this tower and then he goes out uh, the next day and going towards some fireworks or whatever that somebody will set off. That's about as far as I got. Open the door. We're going to turn on the power. Yep. Okay, nice. We're going to go ahead and turn on the power. Oop, nice. And this is his voice. AKA Firewatch. Day one. When we get to day two is when I'll stop the recording, guys. Right, you said when I'm ready. I'm not ready. I mean,
One, two, three, four. Okay. All right. Oh, just so nice. Okay, so one, two, three, four is the code. Apparently, I didn't hear that the first time I played. So, okay, let's go. So one, two, three, four, right. That's the direction we need to go is the fireworks. Okay. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, okay. Three that zoom in. Nice. Okay. Jonesy Lake, 0 0.7 miles to the west. Nice. Okay. Yeah, detail on this game it looks like mighty, mighty amazing. Like, it's, I don't know. It's pretty good. Can we run? No. We can definitely run forward. Sure, we can definitely run forward, which is nice. I suppose. Oh. Wait, are we? Ron, hey man, guy couldn't take it, so I locked up, locked up his lookout and put some stuff in the box. Find one of these bars you like. Hiking to the park, but gets, let's get fucked on back, Dave. I don't think we should 
that uh drop. Yeah, we'll keep that there. Uh let's Go over to the let's get to the lake, y'all. Let's get to the lake. Now we can stop those people from lighting out those fireworks. Yep, they're still lighting out those fireworks. Group hook. Uh, the shale slide is steep. How do you expect me to get down this? I don't remember it being that bad. It's not even mean to our tempos. Yeah, well, I go with you, don't Okay. Uh. Okay. We repel down the mountain. Go down the mountain, there we come. Ow. What you mean be careful? It's not like it's not like he tried to do that. What you mean be careful? Lady? Kind of off trail. There we go. Setting up bottle 
Oh my god. Okay, that was weird. That was weird, but okay. Okay, climb up this way. Go through this old cave. Okay. Interesting. What's in this cave then? In Thunder Canyon. Thunder Canyon. Hey, I didn't name it. But in the cave, out of the rocks, and if I tell people not to go too far in there, it's pretty dangerous. Oh! oh.
Hey, we had to make that jump. That was weird. Okay, that's weird. Oh, we gotta climb up right here. I see now. I keep getting fun. That's good. Right. Climb rocks. Here we go again. Alrighty. Yep, 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 yep. Climb rocks again. Again, okay, I had to use a parkour stuff here and there. Ow, I think something somebody's been in here. Someone broke in. Hey, what? They just they wrecked the place. Threw my typewriter out the window. Motherfucker. Holy shit. Uh all of the forest service know what happened.
Day two. Okay, we'll do this. Aha, see, now it's... Okay. Alright, guys, I think this is going to be it for this gameplay. Uh, I appreciate you guys being here. Thanks, you guys, for being here. And that's probably going to be it for... Probably gonna be it for this gameplay, guys. Uh, I was just trying to say the name of the of the title, Fire Watch. I believe the name is. So, thank you for watching. Uh, uh, have a good night and uh, good day, good night, whatever, you, whatever time you guys are watching this. Uh, thanks for being here. I appreciate you guys being here.